I've seen some people with Parkinson's and they have some classic neuromuscular findings. What are those? And then we'll go to some other stuff. It's the motor findings is what we've talked about for years. And they are um, asymmetric tremor, a resting tremor in their lap, a rigidity, which is stiffness of the limbs, the arms and legs, and then bradykinesia, which is slowness. So they have a slowness of movement and then postural instability. So they start getting some issues with balance early on when they make turns when they're walking. What's characteristic of the tremor? The tremor is a resting tremor. Um, it's a lower amplitude tremor, and it's usually in their lap. And when they use their hands, it will go away. Ah, so you can reach and you can grab, but when you put your hands in your lap, the tremor starts going about this speed, somewhere yes. in there? Yes. Is that why they call it a pill rolling tremor? Yes, it's because the old pharmacy thing was rolling pills and it starts in the thumb. So a lot of times it'll just be a thumb tremor and then it'll involve the thumb and first finger and, and start doing, that's why they got the pill rolling from, and then the whole hand becomes involved. And tell me about the muscle rigidity. What's characteristic of that? Does it mean you just can't move it good or it's... It's stiffness. The earliest sign is a decreased arm swing, where when they're walking, the one arm doesn't move as well as the other. And the family will notice it and notice that one arm's swinging and one arm's not. And that's one of the early signs. So they sometimes complain of shoulder pain because the arm's stiff and not moving. What? But it's also called cogwheel rigidity because when we check them, you, it's like going through the cogs in a wheel. You see this movement, this ratcheting movement with the stiffness. So it was called cogwheel rigidity.